All right, yep. uh, is it Jason's opportunity? I yep. am up. All right. and th- th- this one to me is is easy, and and really, this is almost pumping the brakes on myself because I had this thought initially, like, oh no, what happens to Mike Evans now? Jameis Winston is gone. All those picks and having to come back and throw deep, and also having no fear to just say go long and, and throw the ball over and over uh, deep down the field to Mike Evans. Now Tom Brady comes in. He no longer has a deep ball. He's not throwing it down the field. It's Chris Godwin in the Julian Edelman role, yada, yada, yada. All this news makes people, I've seen it on Twitter, can left, I, right, and center. Can I jump in and say I'm one of those people that I, I was asked the dynasty question, whether Melvin Gordon in the 107 was better than Mike Evans. And the first thing I thought of was trying to process Mike Evans with Brady and what that means. So I'm excited to hear the remainder of this. You're who I'm talking to. Thank you, sir. Yeah, and only you. Everyone (laughs) else. Technically, you're talking to both of us right now. Oh, is Mike still here? (laughs) Um, Hey, everybody. Look, Jameis Winston, yes, he was a gunslinger. Yes, he throws the ball down the the field and, and needs to because he gets in deficits. Also... He's not as good as Tom Brady. Just a fact. He's not as accurate as Tom Brady. I'll he doesn't read a defense as well as Tom Brady. He doesn't exploit defenses and take advantage of situations. He's not going to be as good in the red zone as Tom Brady. Certainly I mean, not he, as handsome. I'm he's, sorry, Jameis. He's definitely, I mean, look, <laughs> Tom Brady, if he's looking that good in his 40s, I yeah. want to be, I want to be like Brady, man. Oh, um, yeah. Just eat some veggies. Mike Evans from a can is a great oh always from a can. I wanted to post a poll oh. of canned vegetables versus frozen vegetables because to me oh it's frozen. I like oh, I see frozen vegetables are disgusting. They oh. end up turning out awful every single time. C- give me canned, you know, and I'm talking, you know, green beans and corn and all the normal like canned vegetables. That's so much better wow. than the medley frozen crap. I've always that, gone no vegetables, but I, well, it's yeah, not a good I mean, time. That, that, I mean, that is that's better. the best. Yeah. But my point is this. Mike Evans didn't lose a step. Mike Evans didn't become a worse wide receiver. He's 26 years old. Oh, Mike Evans is incredible. He's never had a season without a thousand receiving yards. And we're acting like him going to Tom Brady is going to destroy him. Stop it. He's got a better quarterback. The Vegas, you know, over under right now on his touchdowns is 30. Divide 30 touchdowns up and you're going to be just fine. Mike Evans over, you know, his career, including his sophomore year where you had three touchdowns, has a 16 game pace of nine touchdowns a year. And I think Tom Brady is going to be able to use a great wide receiver in really solid ways. So, I, you know, I'm going to take advantage of buying the Mike Evans dip because I'm buying a dip of Mike Evans because he got Tom Brady as his quarterback. I think people want, I think people wanted a reason or an argument or an opportunity to just make a decision between the Godwin Evans. And this gave them the opportunity to definitively say, I'd rather have Chris Godwin. And I would too. I would rather have Chris Godwin than Mike Evans, but the the point is those aren't mutually exclusive. La, you know what I mean? Like last year yeah. on a points per game basis, everyone knows Chris Godwin was unbelievable last year. On a points per game basis, last year, Mike Evans was the wide receiver number three. <laughs> so like the, it's not uh it's not a uh, Mike Evans is the clear two. It's a one A and one A situation. If I have to draft one of them, I'm I'm gonna take Godwin ahead, but I'm drafting both of these guys early, and I, I believe you know, in that system. And and a lot of times people will look to the uh, total targets last year. I think it was like 118. And you forget that Mike Evans basically didn't play his last game and then missed three games. He was on 155 target pace. And yeah, that was with Jameis. So the target number total will, uh, as a team, come down. But the target quality will go up. And that was still with Chris Godwin having broken out and with Arians running the show. So, uh, you know, the Mike Evans uh, dropping like a tank uh, dropping like a tank? Dropping yeah, that's like, a very, yeah. very common, Look, very yeah, common phrase. Mike, Mike Evans dropping like a, like a plane, that's it is right. going to mm-hmm. drop. You don't. Yeah. Yes, Mike Evans dropping like a tank <laughs> is a narrative I'm not getting drop behind. Dropping like a tank. <laughs> dropping like a tank. <laughs> if you want more of that, click down there. See the whole episode. Click over there. Subscribe to the show. We're here all year round. Do not miss it.